Hi crafty friends. I created this background page a little while ago. I was just experimenting and I didn't really like the overall look so I was going to tear it up and put it in my happy scraps but as I was ripping up each piece I liked each individual strip so I thought I'm not going to put it into my happy scraps I'm going to create something else with it. I'm going to turn this yuck into yum. There are many things that you could create with this. Let me show you my idea. So I'm going to rip the entire page into similar sized strips. I'm just using a ruler. I'm not measuring. They're roughly the same size. They don't have to be exactly the same. And then using another piece of paper, I'm going to use a sheet of watercolor paper only because it's quite sturdy and I want it a little bit more sturdy than your normal copy paper. I'm going to glue these strips down in a muddled up order just using a glue stick. So I've basically deconstructed the, for the main page and I'm reconstructing it now in a different way. I love the interest it's created as the strips are placed down. I always loved the color when I first created it. I just didn't like the overall look, but this gives it a whole different look with lots of depth and interest. I'm liking it much better. You could do this with any piece of art that you've created that you're not 100% happy with. A lot of times we create stuff that is not how we envisioned it to be. We're not 100% happy. Either you can collage over it and create something again, or you could just rip it up, reassemble it in a different way and create something else. Once that is all glued down, I'm going to trim off the excess. You don't have to do this part depending on what you're creating. I'm going to make mine into tags. So I need to do a little bit of measuring. So I'm going to trim mine off. Now I'm not going to measure exactly for my tags. I'm going to eyeball roughly the size I want. I'm going to measure across. We have got 18 centimeters exactly. So I'll do six for each. That's a good width. And then I can fit roughly two long ways and there'll be a little bit of excess collage left over which i can use then for another project you can make these tags whatever size you like to suit any project that you're working on Don't throw anything away, put the excess bits into your box of bits for a later project. And there are the beginnings of my little tags. As usual, I'm using a pre-cut tag or a store-bought tag to create the little corners. I just found this a really easy way to get everything accurate. Instead of trying to measure, it's at the right angle and it's a good shaped tag. I love how unique each tag is, although they're similar and they match, each one is different and has its own interest points. You could add additional layers of paint. At this point, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave as is. All I am going to do is create a black border all the way around with a fine liner pen. I like the contrast this creates and I like the way it finishes it off. You could also do this with a sewing machine if you'd like to sew around it. That's usually my go-to, but for these ones, I'm going to keep it a bit more simple and just do a hand-drawn line all the way around. I think this would be considered a mass make and I do like making this lots of the same thing to always have them ready for when I want to use them in a journal. Or any craft project but of course you could just make one at a time depending on what you're making you would have noticed I didn't punch a hole on top I'm not going to be threading any kind of ribbon through I'm going to use a piece of fabric and I'm going to sew it on this is a cotton fabric that is actually from a pillow cover the pillow came in this when we bought it and I love that it has got the black text on I have ripped it into strips and then cut it into smaller sections 
I'm using my sewing machine to sew it at the top. I'm just folding it in half, scrunching the bottom slightly and then stitching it with black thread. I'm also doing some thread bunching to create additional texture. So I think I turned the yuck collage paper into some yummy tags. I really hope you think so too. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and were inspired to create your own tags like this. Let me know in the comments below what you would have created if you didn't create tags. And with lots of journaling space on the back. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. Happy creating and I'll see you again soon. Bye.